in cases of impacted canines as shown here the tooth movement is much more complicated than it appears you have to set a very complicated biomechanical system to get this canine to get into this space if the space is present and you also need to understand that the roots of these teeth which is the first premolar and the lateral incisor should be probably as divergent as possible so if you look at the movement this needs to happen to position the tooth and it's a very complex movement as you can see you have to rotate the tooth in three planes of space and the apex has to move mesially and buccally while the crown moves distally and also labially looking at this from a occlusal view you can appreciate that the force system has to be pretty consistent to avoid the lateral incisor rotate upright rotate again and finally position the amount of apical movement is very significant in this position this is a complicated movement that requires a high level of biomechanical knowledge thank you